Hello and welcome back to the channel. Remember to like and subscribe. Follow us on our Instagram down here so that you can see further detail of what we get up to. Today we're going to be making something for our cows. But first we're going to have to go and pick up the stuff that we're going to make out of and then I can properly explain what we're actually going to do. So let's go get it. here um, and this is what we've come to collect so let's uh get them all loaded up back to the farm and then i'll explain what actually what we're actually going to be doing today Okay, so that is the lot that we want. We've got, how many do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight good ones. And then we've got three, which we're gonna do something else with. So let's get back and start cutting them. What we're planning on doing is cutting this in half down the middle here and then uh, when you've got two halves, bolt the two halves together to sort of make a, like a trough uh, to feed the, the cattle in. That's the plan. So let's get them off. Right, just one last thing before we get started. Um, these ones that we've got here, uh, without the top, uh, obviously we can't use because we'll have to all fall out the end. So what we're going to do with these is cut them around here um, and then we're going to use them for salt tubs because ours that we have at the minute are a bit worn and instead of being circular they're a bit oval shaped. So. Okay so we've got spirit level so that we can uh, make a nice straight line and we've got the pen to mark out uh, what we've got the pen so that we can mark out where to cut that's it that was a mouthful the lids in the way we uh, couldn't really cut through that so we're gonna have to do it this way we're gonna cut this first uh, and then measure the rest Okay, so now we're we're gonna do the bottom first, and then do the yeah, do the bottom next, and then we flip it up, mark them together. A little bit of water, I think, in there come out. That's the line there, and then we, what we can do is once we have two cuts, top and bottom, all you have to do is just match the two cuts together and draw a line. Okay, so we've cut the bottom. And we're now just gonna match match the top and bottom so they get a nice straight line we also put these blocks in here so that when we cut it it doesn't start rolling around
All right, now we'll do the same with all these guys. Right, so we found uh, some bolts that will fit. Put one there, put another one here, and then one at the bottom. Put, put another one, we've got a lump there, so you might, you might have to move it up a little bit for that bottom one. But try and put three in there, plan. So if we do one, in there, and then yeah. one. Oh, you got mm. the lump there. That's we got the lump there. We'll have to do one there, Roy. Um, I don't know whether two will be enough. Could try to. We'll try to and see what that looks like first. I'm just thinking of the bottom sort of hinging out. Beauty with these though is that A, they're, they're easy to wash out. If an animal does tread in it or whatever, it's it's not going to do a lot of damage. No. And you can easily replace these, you yeah, get these for next to nothing. Robust it's quite robust It's quite robust and so I know several people that have used these and they say it's quite successful so we can but try, can't we? And of course it's cheap as chips. I'm just concerned that that's there but... Yes. Oh, I don't know. Is that going to... Uh, it does. I could you get one in right at the bottom or not? Right, well, under the plastic lump? Um, yeah, under that big lump. Oh, that's, oh, I see. Oh, that'd be good. That'd anchor it down well there, wouldn't it? I don't know if in there's there. enough space there, though, is there? Oh, for God's sake. <laughs> Feet up. Uh, where are we going? So, I'm going to try and put one under that lump. Yeah. We have to uh, get a longer bolt because the one that we had there for the top, uh, they, were, they weren't long enough to do the bottom one, so we had to find some others to do that one. There we go. That's one. Since I've put that bottom in, it's pulled yeah. them in, isn't it? It's made it more sort of rocky. Yeah, if you look at it now, yeah. underneath there's a bit of a... a gap. Yeah, exactly. So it's only, it's only purchasing itself on yeah, the bottom. Yeah, so is it worth taking that one out? Well, either take it out or just slacking it off. Yeah, just. But it might not off. be worth put, but doing on the others. Although it's stronger in the middle, it rocks a bit more. So I'm going to just loosen that, see what, what happens. That's better. That's better. Yeah. How many animals do you think you'd get? Well, I was going to say, if you start, if, I mean, if you've got biggish animals, you know, you're going to get one sort of stood here on an angle, yeah. and then one there, so six, between six and eight, depending on the size animal, I reckon you get on there. Or if you've got eight, well, if you said six animals, it's 48 animals, 48 animals that'd be on a six. Yeah. Um, so you, you certainly, with that amount, you're going to be 50 comfortably could feed around that lot. Yeah. And if we've got, four, we've got eight, so we could put, if we've got two bunches of animals, we can put four in one field and then 44 yeah. in the we, other field. And we think we might have a couple somewhere else as well, which we'll have we to check. We can make, yeah. If we are a couple short. But yeah, so everything we've done so far, imagine that times seven, <laughs> and we'll get the rest done. <laughs> okay, so we've got all eight troughs uh, cut and bolted together now. So I'm just gonna rinse them all off, all the dust that we were on the cutting so i'm going to rinse all that off and then we can get them in the shed but dad's just taking the uh, old salt tubs down and he's just going to burn them so yeah let's crack on with it
Okay, so that is all eight of them now washed off. Uh, I'm gonna get them all in the in the shed here. So I've moved moved the salt tubs, the good ones that we have, moved them out of the way, and those troughs I'm gonna put on here. Okay, so they're all there. Those things are absolutely horrible to stack, so it's more of just a neat dump over there. So, yeah, now I'm just gonna finish these salt tubs and then I can put those next to them. Okay, so thank you very much for watching this video. Hope you enjoyed watching us make those troughs there, which we're going to be using hopefully as soon as the cattle arrive, which will be the end of March. This Friday, we are planning on going to a cattle market. So if you want to see that, hit the bell so that you get a notification when that video comes out. But until then, goodbye. Okay, just about to put these in our new burning bin. Look how beautiful it is. All right, bye.